Hello, this is Diana. We have a new program called A Day in KSA. This show is about unique activities, cool events, yoga, sport, cancer awareness, and highlighting interesting people. Today, we will take you to a very special journey. Please enjoy it. My name is Mehdi Haragrouch. I'm a psychotherapist and a photographer, and I've uh, I've also printed a, a few books on uh, landscaping in Saudi Arabia and a way of life in Saudi Arabia. I want you today to join me uh, as we go into uh, photographing petroglyphics in Saudi Arabia. And we are the third largest country in the world that has high level of concentration of prehistoric rock art. This is a great small mountain, which is a landmark. When a battle actually comes in, it's isolated from the main uh, mountain behind it, and it's in the, closer to the city of Riyadh, about two hours away from the city of Riyadh, and then they actually usually stop here. Look at this piece of rock. It's such a communication rock. It's on, on top of the mountain, and people who are actually um, going across, you know, passing the mountain could actually read this message. And this message is full of a lot of information. It told us in this area, there are ostriches. See the ostriches over there? You know, Saudi Arabia is actually known to have many images in one rock, and we are the first country in the world to have all these images in one piece of rock. And this is very consistent in many parts of Saudi Arabia. And this is extremely important, this man right here. And he's holding an arrow, and he's hunting. And there's a hunting scene right over here. And I find also it's important, this is writing right over here don't know what it says, but there's, there's alphabets here. So what that also tells us is in one piece of rock, there's multi uh, images of multi time frames. So most of these uh, drawing, particularly of animals, they could be prehistoric. And then the writing came in and that was after um, history was written. I would assume that uh, it's about 2,000 years, maybe 3,000 years uh, old. And uh, the easiest way of telling, actually, is the color, you know. For example, this color of image, which is the camel, is very different than, than let's see, the ostriches, for example see the ostriches are a bit darker, which tells us that the ostrich is actually a bit older and the camel is much newer. Now scientifically, you could actually figure this all out uh, by drilling a hole and finding how old, the exact age of it. But because we don't have these scientific tools with me now, nor am I a scientist, um, you could tell by just the naked eye. This is a really important piece uh, right here. It's the camel, and inside the camel, they've actually made a, a hood, and have usually women, children, elderly men, women, uh, would go within the caravan. And here's a big uh, camel and a small camel. And uh, with that, there's also some writing up here, and there's writing here. So you've got both uh, writing, and camels and drawing camels was actually at that time extremely important because it is the most valued possession of a, um, a Bedouin. So they value the possession of uh, camels and therefore they actually just draw it. So this is why in petroglyphics uh, rock art you could see a lot of drawing of camels a lot in uh, the kingdom. <laughs> 